Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today on the show, we will be breaking down everything that changed in the new Grand Theft Auto Online update. Today, we're going to be showcasing everything alongside all of the new bonuses, discounts, free rewards, and all the other gameplay changes that you need to know about. There's also some other free vehicles that I want to discuss today, which I'll be mentioning a little bit later on. But with all that said, we're going to jump in and get started. If you enjoyed this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, then let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything GTA Online, Red Dead Online, and Rockstar Games, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. All right, so jumping into all of our bonuses here in GTA Online this week. This is definitely a better week than last week, but that's not saying much because, as you know, last week was pretty bad in my opinion. But jumping in, we have 1.5 times money and RP bonuses on air freight cargo cell missions at your hangar, as well as the first dose and the last dose missions here in GTA Online this week. We also have double GTA Online money and RP on the Turf Wars adversary mode. So basically what you got right here is duplicated 1.5 times money on last dose missions, but you also have one and a half times money on first dose missions. So if you want, you could definitely play through the entire first and last dose mission saga to enjoy that for 50% extra money. Air freight cargo is certainly worth selling if you have a full hangar or whatever your current stock is it's definitely worth selling and if you're like 10 basically products away from selling a full air freight cargo hangar then you basically just want to complete that fill it up to the max so you could sell that for your 50 percent money because remember this business was tripled with the drug wars dlc when it released in december so basically what you're getting right here is about four and a half times money what you would normally get basically before the huge buff that we got before the triple payouts buff about six months ago so definitely worth selling but is it worth stocking up a full hanger if you have not done so that's something i wouldn't necessarily recommend these are fun missions i should say some of the missions are fun a lot of them are very tedious and annoying this business is good if you have a bunch of friends but if not and you're doing it solo this is definitely not the most solo friendly business and it's just not that great of a business to do in general four hour property discount for the week a pretty good one this week is 30 30% off all hangers in the game, plus 30% off all hanger upgrades, and 30% off all hanger modifications. So that is definitely pretty good. I know the air freight cargo business that's on bonus is not that good of a business necessarily, but the hangar is 100% worth purchasing for 30% off because it allows you to store all your aircraft here. So this is definitely something I recommend you take advantage of from the Smuggler's Run DLC that released, and I think it was what, 2017, summer of 2017, man, that was a long time ago now. Jumping into all of our vehicle discounts for this week in GTA Online, we have the Vapid Flash GT for 30% off, and it's selling for $1,172,500. Next up, the Ubermacht SC1 is on sale for 30% off as well, selling for $1,000,000. $1,122,100. After that, the Bravado Greenwood is on sale for 30% off and it's selling for $769,125. And then our last discount is on Warstock Cash and Carry and we have the Western Company Rogue selling for 30% off or $840,000. For the gun van location for this week, you can find it up here at the north part of the map just east of Polito Bay. We're in Procopio Beach right now. Let's check out the following stock and assortments for us. For weapons, we have the knife, the baseball bat, the up and atomizer, the heavy sniper, the musket, and the advanced rifle. I feel like there's like a couple more that should be on this list but are missing, but so far that's just the list of what we have for today. This week in GTA Online, your podium vehicle is going to be the legendary and infamous Pegasi Zentorno with a very, very sick livery here on this car, so definitely Come to the Diamond Casino and Resort, spin the lucky wheel, and try and win this vehicle this week. Next up on our list of free vehicles, you have to come over to the LS Car Meet because your prize ride for this week is the Ocelot Jugular. This is a fantastic sports car and sports sedan here in GTA Online. All you need to do to win this vehicle is head on over to the prize ride challenge. You need to win 
Pursuit Race Series races four days in a row this week. So winning races four days in a row may be a large feat to accomplish for a lot of players who have work and school and who don't necessarily have all the time to hop into this game every single day, queue up for pursuit races, and then let alone win those four days in a row. But if you have the opportunity to, this is a fantastic car to win here in this game. And then over at the Los Santos car meet and test track, your test drive vehicles for this week are consisting of the Lampadati Fuhrer GT, Followed by that, we have the Bravado Greenwood. And then picking up the anchor here, we have the Dubachi Rapid GT Classic. Next up, we're over here at Simeon's Car Dealership or Premium Deluxe Motorsport as it's known in game. And we have the following five vehicles this week. We have the Vapid Retinue. After that, we have the Declassy Impaler. Followed by that, we have the Vapid Flash GT. For the fourth vehicle, we have the Dinka Jester. And then our fifth vehicle here this week is the Ubermox Sentinel. This is probably one of my favorite ones. For our luxury autos on Portola vehicles this week, we have the Grati Vizi 1 or Vision, however you want to pronounce it. And also we have the Ubermox SC1 that's available in the showcase window here. When it comes to our time trials for this week, our standard time trial is Observatory with a par time of two minutes and four and a half seconds. Definitely use a fast bike like the Shataro, the Bati 801, the Western Power Surge, or the Hakuchu Drag for this time trial. And then when it comes to our RC Bandito time trial for this week, we have the track La Fuente Blanca with a par time of 1 minute and 27 seconds. We also have a new HSW time trial this week, which I'm pretty sure is Pacific Bluffs, but I'm not 100% sure and to guarantee that. So definitely want to check on the map on your own, but it should be visible right now because the tunables have updated. And of course, I will be featuring in my money guide how to complete the RC Bandito time trial as well as the standard time trial. You can follow the best routes and strategies I have in that video later on this weekend. Real quick, just as your final reminder before we get through this month, you have until May 17th to complete the last Dose Hard event and you're gonna unlock the following rewards. If you complete the mission, this is an intervention on hard mode, you'll unlock the pink and lime SC coin wraps. If you complete unusual suspects on hard difficulty, you'll receive the classic DS Tiger embroidered designer jeans. If you complete all of the last dose missions on hard difficulty, you'll also get a camouflage wrap for the micro SMG, and the wrap itself is a literal army camo, so it's definitely pretty cool. But with all that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. I'd love to know your thoughts on this weekly update for GTA down in the comments section below. Hopefully, if you did enjoy this video, hopefully I earned your like on it, and of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA Online, Red Dead Online, and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. Platforms. You can follow me at Hazardous HDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.